Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Today we are doing some spigot coding. It's been a while um, since we've actually done any of this, um, but today we are going to be making a message utility. So what this is going to do is it's going to, we're going to try to focus on like the old Mindplex style messages. So it's going to make it so it translates every message so color codes work. And then we're also going to make the message return with um, like the little prefix in front of it where you can customize it to whatever you want based on whatever you're running the message about. Um, so we're gonna do this real quick. All of the source for this video will be linked on the um, GitHub page. You can just use it if you want, um, but it is better to learn how I'm doing this. It's quite a simple video today. We're starting it off simple. I'm gonna gain for once a month is my goal uh, for these videos. So make sure to check those out. I'm a little tired, so I do apologize about talking a little quieter than I normally do. Um, I have been doing this and recording videos all day because I will be completely offline um, for about a week and a half. So I did want to get all these videos made for then. Um, so we're just going to make this really easy. We're going to do two things. We're going to create a um, class called color. And that's going to be the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to create a class called color. And if you're using GitHub like I am, just add it to your GitHub repository to keep a backup of it. All right. So now that we have created our color class, what we're going to do first is we're just going to create a um kind of a method um it's going to actually return a string because that's what we're actually going to be doing um so we're going to do public string and we're going to call it translate which is going to be going to take a uh, source string whatever your source string is we're going to put into this and it's going to return something so we're going to return and then we're going to do the translate alternate color code so we're going to do chat color dot translate alternate color codes just like this and then you're just gonna do the and sign inside of here. Make sure not to do parentheses, but those little other ones. I don't even, I'm too tired to know what they're called, but <laughs> little brackets. And I can't even type an and sign. My keyboard won't work. There we go. Um, so we're just gonna take, what we're gonna do with this method is we are going to take a string of some sort and we're gonna translate it. And we're gonna translate any color codes and it will make it colorful based on what those color codes are. That's what this one line does, pretty easy. Don't even need to worry about it. Uh, now we're going to make two more methods. The second method we're going to do is we're going to make, we're going to take our translate method we just made and we're going to plug it in and actually add a little like um, kind of formatting to it on the way we want. So we're going to do another public string just like this. And we're just going to call it main just to keep it really easy. It's our main translate. And we're going to do another string. And what we're going to do with this string is we're going to do whatever the uh, prefix is. So we'll do a string prefix and then we're going to do string body. So we're going to take the prefix and we're going to take the body of the method. And what we're going to do here is we're also going to return. And this is where we're going to set up any colors we want. So I'm going to do chat color dot. Let's say let's do blue. So we're going to do dark blue pretty much is what we're going to do here. And we're just going to do those little brackets. So we're going to put whatever that um, first prefixes so we're going to do plus the prefix and then we're going to do plus we're going to add a space because we want a space between and why don't we add one of those mindplex types like um kind of like arrows that point toward whatever else you're doing and then we're just going to do uh translate so we're going to pull that translate in and we're going to translate the body of the method so what we're doing here is we are going to take anytime this is called it's going to require a prefix it's also going to require the actual body um, and we're going to add one more just to keep it easy for us to log stuff to console. I do this with almost all my plugins nowadays is we're going to create another public string. Or actually we're going to do public void on this one. And we're just going to name it uh, log because it's actually not going to return anything. It's just going to um, like format the message in the way we want. So we're going to do public void log. And then inside of here, we're going to do a bucket dot get console sender. And then we're going to do dot send message and then we're going to do main. So this is where we're going to call that main one in. So we're going to call the main um, little thing in here from above. And you can see if we put those parentheses now, we actually need the prefix and the body. So the body is going to be whatever the message is. And the prefix is just going to be something, whatever you want. I'm going to say log. So now what this is doing is anytime this is called, it's going to go ahead and take the main function which calls the translate function so you can add any type of color codes you want in the message so the message for the main function will be the uh, name of this log here will automatically be blue 
So this is going to be a blue log and then you're going to have this little arrow thing and then it's going to be the message itself just like that just to add it a little easier uh, make it a little easier to see make sure they're not stuck together i'm going to add a space after that all right so the final thing we actually have to do here which i forgot about a moment ago is we're actually going to have to make this all static the reason we're making this all static is because we're going to be calling this from static methods um unfortunately that is just the way you have to do it um so once this is all static we can go to our main class and use this. We're going to do color.log and we're going to type something. I'm just going to say, hi, this is a test or something along those lines. We can add color codes. We can do whatever we else want in here. It's just that simple. So now what we're doing here is we are calling this uh, color.log. So when this is called, it will do the bucket console sender. It's going to translate our message. It's going to call log as the prefix. It will give the message body of whatever we have in the message class and we're going to go ahead and uh, translate those color codes as well and then i'm going to go ahead and copy this file paste it into one of my servers so i'll do my 1.8 testing here go ahead and paste in my server here go ahead and start the server and there we go log the little arrow hi this is a test by default the color is obviously blue because that is what we have here you could obviously reset that by resetting the color before you have this or setting this color to a different color so if you wanted it to be gray all messages by gray by default you could just go ahead and do that um, there's plenty of things you can do this customize it to how you want you can use these types of um you just call main rather than log if you want to uh, send a message to the player so you just do player.send message string main uh, I'll just call color.main prefix and the body and then um, you'll do that so just to show you how that would do is if you were in a method that supported player you do player.send message and then you would do color.main just like that and in here you would have the prefix so like you could do command prefix or whatever else you want and then comma and then the actual message this is a message or something along the lines of that obviously that's not going to work in this method because you don't have a player um defined but it will work in commands and events and stuff like that when you actually have a player um so this is how you make a basic message utility uh hopefully it comes in handy for whatever you're doing it's something easy i decided to start with all the source is on github if you don't know how to push to github make sure you commit and um go ahead and push um the code to whatever repository for your backup i highly recommend using github or something like that um, it does help out. So if you want to learn how to do this, just come to this page and you got the code here. If you want to just copy it. Um, but I do recommend actually learning and typing this out yourself, um, to learn about it. All right. Not my best video, but this is how it is today. <laughs> um, hopefully you did enjoy and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye everyone.